All right, okay, so we're going through the videos um, from the short film challenge, and we're gonna look, this next video is Time in Time by Shazia Abdul Alim. By Shazia Abdul Alim, okay? And so the synopsis, in time in time, three sisters who are basically quarantined at home uh, decide to do something with the time they have on their hands to make a film and enter it into the Dean TV short film competition. They decide to base the film on the do's and don'ts of Ramadan. They face many obstacles trying to complete the film. In the end, there's a little bit of the realization that they are too inside the film. All right, let's go watch this video and see time in time. A time in time. What should we do for the spring break? Maybe we should enter like a competition or something. What type of competition? I was thinking maybe we could enter like a film competition. Mm, that's always a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Her new deal is actually doing something like that. Name thing? New Dean TV. Sorry, I got oh, confused about yeah. it. Guys, <laughs> yeah. Why is that picture clicking? Um, anyway, I was thinking maybe we can do like the do's and don'ts of Ramadan. I feel like that would be really cool. I think so. Yeah. It should work. Why is nothing working? No, no, yeah, I thought Sally moved in. She said she's sick, so you're gonna have to do it. You have to take it up. It's about five hours on the website. That's enough for a few scenes to finish it, I guess. I think so. Maybe. I'm so bored. Me too. Don't play tic-tac-toe? Uh, we should probably go edit. Yeah, we probably should. Do's and don't. Ramadan. Do you already have any ideas for doodles? Because I can't think of anything right now. Fasting. <laughs> should we have any like background songs? Oh yeah, I think we should. What about Native Dean? That would be good. That'd be good. Short film is so stressful, I don't know how we're going to do it. It's okay, it's just a movie. I like the movie. I like the sound of my cat too. Why is the picture crooked? Maybe we're in a movie. Let's go fix the picture. Okay, all right, all right. So, um, again, I, I'm gonna give good 
and my, the good comments and then my improvements that I think could have been made. Um, and, if, and in the end, of course, you guys leave your comments um, to help them as filmmakers. One of the things I felt that was good was a, there was um, uh, a good variety. They had it, one, they had a good establishing shot in the beginning. So you know where everything was. So you saw the house in the beginning and that was a decent establishing shot. So you understood the location where we were at. Um, the, um, you know, they had some cool shots like the over the shoulder shot, like I was talking about, where the camera was filming the camera that which is filming them. Um, these are shots that are very common in videos. Uh, and you had a, you know, a pretty decent range in close ups, you had mid range shots, you had wide shots. So these are all shots that are, um, that are very good to have. The transitions were cool. You had some cool transitions in there. Now, you know, when it comes to transitions, a lot of times people overuse transitions. They just transition using, um, you know, wipes and, and, and dissolves and all kinds of crazy transitions. You know, keep them to a, a minimum and keep them good. And um, I thought it was pretty good. I thought, I think you also took in good consideration the colors. Like every scene was colorful and it, it had like, you could see that there was some type of thought into the, the placement of the colors and, and even what you guys were wearing. So these are, this is something that you should also take in consideration. A lot of times, you know, a lot of times we're looking totally at just, uh, you know, maybe what is in the picture, but not around, maybe the actors themselves, but also very important to look at the environment and the set and the design of the environment that you're filming in. So um, that was very good. Uh, I felt that sound is always an issue. I, I made some recommendations, like when you're doing dialogue, you could have a cell phone with a, uh, uh, the recorder hidden somewhere near, nearer to the actors. And then afterwards in editing, you can sync that up. Um, that's usually what is done by, you know, major films. They have like a microphone coming down and then they sync up the audio. So uh, you could have done that. Um, again, the shots were too long you know, gotta cut it up. You know, you have a wide shot, okay? A wide shot is, you know, when you have a bunch of people, you had those. Um, then you have a mid shot. Uh, a mid shot is, you know, about to, to, to the person's belly button and then closer and then close up shots. You gotta mix it up. You gotta add these shots into the, um, into film all of them. That means multiple takes you're gonna have to, filmmaking takes a while, you know, and it, it, it can be very monotonous, um, very grueling, but you know, when you have all a good variety of shots, then you have a lot to work with and you can do better storytelling. Think about making sure that you keep people in frame, okay? So when you're filming, a lot of times, if we're focusing on one person, the other person's head gets cut off, okay? Because we're not realizing that the other person, even though if that person is somewhat behind the subject or not as important, you wanna keep everybody in frame and uh, you want to make sure that um, there's no heads that are cut off, okay? So that's something to think about. The storyline wasn't very clear in a sense that um, I understood sort of what you were going at, getting at, but um, a video within a video. So it, it, it didn't really come together for me. Um, and I think I'd like to hear what the audience thinks about it. Maybe they understood it better than I did. Um, but I thought also, I thought the credits were too long. Um, you know, I felt that, you know, the credits, <laughs> the credits can be like quick because if somebody really wants to see the quick credits, they can pause the video. Okay. When it comes to YouTube and that type of thing, you can pause the video. It doesn't have to be super long credits like you have in a movie. Um, quick, boom, one, two, three seconds. Um, or you can even put the credits in the description. You don't have to put, you know, make like, you know, three minute long credit uh, sequence, okay? But these are, you know, what I think. Let, please let us know what you thought. Um, leave your comments in the, uh, in the comment section. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We'll take all of these into consideration. One of the things that when it comes to posting videos on, on YouTube and what have you, you get good feedback, right? And you can and see the interaction and you can see whether the video has a lot of engagement or not, you know, if there's the engagement is strong or weak. So we'll take all this into consideration and, you know, we will hope that, you know, you will continue doing more filmmaking and making your films more and more and getting them better and better. This Dean TV video was made possible in part by Islamic Relief USA, working together for a better world and by Recycle Processes Incorporated.